Hey guys, Brad here. If you'd like to take better portraits, you may not need a new camera. You might not need that new prime lens. You may just need a reflector. If you regularly follow my channel, you've noticed I've taken a little bit of time off from doing my own videos and I've been shooting behind the scenes videos for professional photographer David LaRochelle. One tool that David uses a lot in his portraits is a reflector called an eye lighter. It's a curved reflector that adds a great catch light to the bottom part of your subject's eyes. It comes with a stand and it's about $300. $300 is a little more than I have to spend right now so I started wondering if there was something that I could build or make that would give me a similar result. Let me show you what I came up with. Go to your local home repair shop and go to the plumbing section. Pick up two 10-foot pieces of this half-inch PVC drain pipe. Then grab four of these half-inch T's, four half-inch elbows or 90's, and four of these half-inch 45's. You're also going to need a roll of black duct tape or Gorilla Tape or Gaffer's Tape. For my reflective material, I'm using an insulation product called a Radiant Barrier. Uh, you can also use those little space blankets or Mylar blankets. You can order them on Amazon for 4 or $5. All of this material comes in under $30. In fact, the duct tape is the most expensive part of the whole deal. Now, the tools you're going to need are very simple. You're going to need a tape measure, a Sharpie, one of these little uh, PVC pipe cutters, and then it's a nice idea to have a single edge razor blade or a sheetrock knife to trim everything off when you're done. Okay guys, let's build this thing. Take one of your sticks of PVC pipe and cut six pieces that are 17 inches long. Alright, then you're going to cut four pieces that are one and a half inches long. Then you're going to want four pieces that are 24 inches long. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our 17 inch pieces and we're going to slide it into the T's. You notice I'm not using any PVC cement. Uh, this thing, if you press it together really tight, it'll hold on its own so you don't have to worry too much about that. Try to press them in really tight and try to make sure that they're lined up. Okay, so you're going to have two of these. Now poke your little one and a half inch pieces in each end. And put on a 45. There we go. Now you're going to take one of your 24 inch pieces and install them on either end. Okay. Okay. So there's one of our side frames, and we're going to put we're going to put a 90 
up here on this side. And then we're going to put a second 90 on that side. Okay, we're about halfway there. <music> Now what we're going to do, these other four 17 inch pieces become your, your cross frames. Thank you mom and dad for buying me all those tinker toys when I was a kid. You just press everything together really tight. And there's our frame. Now, like I said earlier, we're going to put reflective material on this frame. And this is kind of up to you. I had a piece of this radiant barrier. You can buy it a roll for about $30, and it's enough to make four or five of these. You can get the little $4 uh, Mylar blankets. Sometimes they call them survival blankets or space blankets. Heck, you could even put corrugated cardboard on this and lay sheets of kitchen foil on. So the reflective surface is up to you. Okay, I'm not real artsy crassy. So what I did was I just started taking pieces of my black duct tape and kind of putting it here on the frame in the corners where it would kind of hold the, the material. If you've got a wife or a girlfriend with a hot glue gun, um, they'll probably show you a much quicker, easier way to do this. Now, if you're a little bit more concerned about your reputation than I am, this would be a good time to stop and spray paint your, your frame black. Uh, that would give it a little bit less of a DIY look. I just went ahead and left mine the way it was so it would be tacky. I'm kind of proud of my humility. Okay, so I just take my reflective film. Start kind of stretching the wrinkles out of it. And poking it onto the duct tape that I had put out on the frame. Then all I did was kind of take some of my duct tape, start taping the reflective material to the frame. While I'm doing this, I'm thinking of different ways that I can spend the $270 that I'm saving. Okay, this whole process of taping on the miler really only takes a couple of minutes, but I am going to edit most of the process out because it is a little bit like watching grass grow. Once you've seen a guy put on a piece of duct tape, you know, there's not just a whole lot I can do to make that exciting. Now this is the part of the project when you're probably going to discover that the blade in your razor knife is really, really dull. So you're going to have to run inside and find your wife's scissors and then just trim off, trim off your excess material. Okay, now to keep it from snagging and to kind of give it a finished edge. Uh, take your tape catch it on about an inch of the material. There you go. And then wrap it around the back side and tape and tape it to your PVC. Okay guys, if I was doing still photography, I'd have either a 42 inch silver umbrella with a flash, or I'd have a flash in a softbox just directly above my camera shooting down. And I'd have that light low enough that I'd have a distinct catch light in my eye. So 
with that lighting setup, that's what you got. Now, a lot of you guys will use the, the little 42 inch reflectors. These are great for this if you're out you know, on location. And what you can do is you can work that, that round reflector. And a lot of times you'll see it show up kind of in the bottom of your subject's eyes. <laughs> Let's go with the little reflector that we built. This is sort of the effect that you get. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. We'll have more of these videos coming soon.